Hi everybody, this is Ruby and welcome to episode 4 of Rise and Shine. I heard from Rosario Dawson and Lupita Nyong'o that June is Immigrant Heritage Month, so I wanted to join in on the fun. And so I wanted to dedicate this episode to immigrant daughters who are daring to be great because we have very unique experiences growing up in America, and I wanted to take some time to shed a spotlight on our stories. So a little bit of background on me. I was born in Manila, Philippines and immigrated to the United States with my family in 1993 when I was about 10 years old. Our beginnings were very humble and I couldn't be any prouder of my parents, both of whom worked very hard to create and set up an entirely new life for us. So in this episode, I want to share some insights and wisdom that I've gained along my path to encourage other immigrant daughters or girls who grew up like me to rise and shine to your potential. If your story is anything like mine, then you'll understand what it's like to not have everything handed down to you. You've probably had to work twice as hard for your opportunities with more limited resources, but facing challenges allows you to grow in character to deepen your wisdom and self-awareness. And these are things that are necessary in life that can't be taught or bought, but can only be learned from experience. So remember that whatever adversity that you're facing right now, know that it's a blessing because your adversity prepares you to be who you need to be, to be exceptional. Number two, don't count yourself out of the game before you even start, play. It's easy to think that some opportunities are out of your reach, but go for it, I urge you. In my experience, I wanted to study in Italy, I wanted to move to New York, and I wanted to move to Paris, where I live now. And if I had listened to other people or even to my inner self telling me that that was impossible, then I would have been missing out. The difference is that I dared to believe in myself, and I dared to believe that whatever I wanted was possible for me and it can be for you too. So if you really want something that bad, I'm sure that you will find a way to get it, but just play. Number three, follow your heart, but don't forget to take your brain with you. Having a dream is a beautiful thing, but without action, it doesn't become a reality. So respect and nurture your vision by creating an action plan along with it. Make a to-do list, even if it has just one item on it. It doesn't matter how you begin, only that you take the first step. Lastly, I want you to remember that you too are America. As people who grew up here, we are a product of the United States. And you know what? I didn't realize how American I actually was until I moved overseas. When I moved back to my home country of the Philippines in 2012, I felt how American I was. And now that I live in France, I understand even more how American I am in my attitude, in my approach, and in my ambition. And I am grateful to have grown up in a country that has given me so much opportunity, that has given me a quality education, because that education broke open my social consciousness and it taught me how to be an agent of social change. We too are America. And as people of this country, we have a lot of work to do. So I hope that you continue to rise and shine to your greatness because your achievements represent so much hope for so many others. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.